anniversary celebration and opening celebration for the Rose Con Women's Facility under the Phoenix program. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our first speaker. David's been affiliated with the Life Center for the last two years. As the current program director, much of his job consists of managing this house and dealing one-on-one -on -one with the men who desire to recover the lives they've lost to drugs and alcohol. He does this because of a deep personal concern for people in these situations. Out of that concern has grown a desire to expand these successful concepts to help another demographic of men and women <coughs> who have essentially been lost due to the extent of their conditions and the limitations of other programs. Here to tell you more about the Life Center Foundation and its daughter, the Phoenix Program, is my good friend and man in charge, David Adler. <laughs> David Adler, I'm the program director here at Life Center, and I wanted to welcome everybody here today. Almost everybody in this room has had a hand in getting this started. Um, I'm honored and humbled that everybody showed. This is amazing. Um, you know, Life Center's been around a lot longer than I've been aware of it, and the true founder and man in charge of Life Center will be here to speak later on. And uh, I just wanted to say, that the Phoenix program is, is not a one-man deal. The Phoenix program is due to, to large amounts of people in the community and in this room today who have put their hearts and souls into this. And for that, I'm grateful. For that, the women who are being served there are grateful, too. Uh, our program events has changed a little bit, but we will go ahead and start with uh, somebody who I had the pleasure of meeting back in August. Um, I didn't know quite what to expect, and your support and your help and has been uh, just been a blessing to us. You've opened a lot of doors for us, and uh, without further ado, Mary McMillan. Thank you. Thank you very much, David. You know, David came to see me, and I have to admit I didn't know as much about this particular program as I probably should have, but he educated me, and when I realized how important programs like this are to our community in the city of Clarksville, I realized it was something that I needed to get behind and do whatever I could to help make this particular house a reality. So I am proud to be here on behalf of the city of Clarksville, on behalf of the Clarksville City Council to let you know that you have our support. We think this is a great program. Mr. Irby, we think that what you do is just fantastic. You know, this is what really makes us a community, is having people come together to help those in need, to try to make sure that people who need to get back on track, get their lives going back again, have the support of all of us, and I'm proud to play whatever small role I can play in doing that. So congratulations to all of you for this program. Know that the city of Clarksville is behind you and wants to help you in any way that we can. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Our next speaker couldn't be here today, but she thank did you, send a letter. And next speaker, she, her name is Becky Moore. She's the executive director of United Way of Greater Clarksville area. And she's been a supporter of Life Center for years. As long as she's had that role, she has uh, taken care of us and supported what we've done here. She's a friend of Bill Irby's, and uh, I can call her a friend of mine now, too. And I'll ask Joy to come up and read the remarks that Becky wrote for us. Most of us at one time or another have been asked to name our hero or heroes. No matter how many times the question is asked of me, I always offer the same answer. My hero is anyone who serves others. After all, is that not what we are called to do? Bill, thank you for many years of service. Your heart's passion is quite evident in all you do for the Life Center Foundation and for our community. Life Center Foundation continues to give the precious gifts of dignity, respect, and hope to all who enter and choose to accept the gifts. May you keep on keeping on. David, 
thank you for the need to expand services at the foundation. You are a true visionary and a life changer. I thank you and all who work for you for opening the doors for a better life for all who enter the Phoenix program. As I think about the Life Center Foundation and the Phoenix program, I'm reminded of a quote by Albert Schweitzer when he said, sometimes our light goes out but is blown into flame by another human being. Each of us owes deepest thanks to those who have rekindled this light. To everyone at Life Center Foundation, thank you for rekindling the light. Becky Moore, Executive Director, United Way of the Greater Clarksville Region. Our next speaker is a, uh, she's a dear friend of mine. <coughs> And uh, we've, had, we've had the opportunity to see each other in lots of different lights, and he's a, he's a client here. And I'm honored to have John Springer come up to say a few words. My name's John. I'm an alcoholic. Hey, John. Yeah, no, um, I don't have any words. To say what this program has done for me, it saved my life. Mm -hmm. I came here about 90 days ago and I had absolutely no hope of having a better life. And because of this program and the people associated with this program, I have a life today that is indescribably wonderful. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is just, uh, it's been a blessing and I've got a lot of friends here and family. I call them my family now. And uh, Bill, I thank you for the opportunity to be here and David. I'll never forget that Sunday that you told me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we had another speaker, uh, Christy Bustle from Safe House, who was unable to be here, but uh, Christine and her staff have been a, a wonderful support in helping us with the Phoenix program. They're, they have uh, decided to use us as a, as a referral for some of their clients, and we're grateful for the, the trust that they put into Life Center Foundation, and the help and the uh, encouragement as well as the suggestions that Christine and her staff have given us. Uh, our next speaker's been involved with Life Center for a lot longer than I have as well, and uh, Bill knows a lot more about uh, the level of commitment that uh, Mr. Pitts has given us in the, in the over the years, and but uh, I know from from some experience that you've been uh, a wonderful part of our growth, and you've advocated for us on many different levels. And just come up here and uh, represent. <laughs> Thank you, David. I'll try to live up to that introduction. <coughs> um, I'm sorry the mayor couldn't couldn't stick around. I just want to say a word about the leadership of Ken McMillan for this city. Uh, it is just extraordinary to have someone of her capability and her intelligence leading our community in, in, into the next decade. Uh, and she doesn't just walk the walk, talk the talk, she also walks the walk. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this um, celebration. Uh, this is not just an open house or a grand opening, this is a celebration. And I want to say just a few words about Bill Irby. Um, everybody knows Bill to be a very caring, compassionate uh, guy who pours his heart and soul into everything he does. Um, years ago when he was in the real estate business and home building and construction business, he was a success. Um, so it's no secret and no wonder that this Life Center Foundation is a success because of Bill Irby. Every cause needs a champion. And the Life Center Foundation champion is Bill Irby. And so, Bill, thank you for your friendship. One of the things you don't know about Bill is everybody who leaves Bill's presence is a better person, having been around him, just because of what he does and his willingness to give of himself uh, to you. So, Bill, thank you for what you do, and thank you for uh, being my friend. And I look forward to many, many years. This is not just a house on Richardson Street. This is a mission and a ministry. Uh, we know that. 
it is an important part of our community. Uh, we need Life Center Foundation to be successful. So everything that we do is going to make sure that Life Center is successful. Bill, you've assembled a great team from Joy to David to others, uh, and it shows because they have a commitment. So I applaud you for being smart enough to bring them on board. Um, so to David, thank you for your leadership. To Joy in the back, thank you. Uh, but just thank you for allowing me to be a small part of this. Uh, and it doesn't stop today. Uh, for anybody who thinks that you can leave this facility unchanged, whether you're uh, a resident or whether you're just visiting, um, you're sadly mistaken, as we just heard uh, John talk about. Um, I will leave today forever changed. It's my first visit here, so shame on me for not getting here sooner, but I'm glad I'm here. But again, congratulations, Bill, to David, to Joy, to everybody who makes this work. <laughs> Uh, and just God bless you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Clarksville Police Department has been uh, very much on our team after we let them know what we're doing. And unfortunately, they're running a little bit late today. They'll be here afterward. I thought we were at 1.30. But, uh, you know, the, the support of Chief Ansley and his staff has opened a lot of possibilities for the continued growth of life in the Phoenix program. And uh, they will be here and hopefully, you know, you can meet with them on an individual basis and, and get, to, uh, get to know them and, and their support for us. Our final speaker today is a very important person in my life. Um, without him, I wouldn't be standing here. Several years ago, Bill Irvin picked me up in the Gateway Hospital parking lot where I was, had been in ICU and uh, I was on my last legs. And the man gave me a chance when no one else would. And that's why I'm standing here today. Um, everything I've learned about Life Center came from Bill and his vision and his idea. We're not here to reinvent the wheel. The Phoenix program is a direct result of Bill's love for those who are suffering and his belief that they can be made whole again. And um, I'm honored to have been given, I'm honored to have been given the, uh, the opportunity to, uh, to be a part of this. I'm honored that Bill has entrusted me with, with helping him in his, uh, his vision here. And I could go on forever, Bill. Why don't you come on up and talk? <laughs>